What's up guys, it's Nick here. Today I'm going to show you how I transform an ATX power supply that I got from an old CPU into my benchtop power supply that can output 4 different voltages. So, let's go! Before we begin, I'm going to test the power supply with a multimeter. First, we have the negative 12 volts. Then the 12 volts. The 5 volts. And last but not least, the 3.3 volts. Now I'm going to flip the switch and test it again. The 12 volts terminal did not drop to 0 volts immediately. However, all of the other terminals are fine. So yeah, everything seems to be working. And let's move on to the next step. There are a few things on your power supply that you have to check before starting it up. The first one is your fuse, which you can see over here. A good fuse will look transparent and you can see the wire in the middle. A bad fuse will look brownish and you can't see through it. Sometimes the wire in the middle will break as well and you have to replace the whole fuse. Next, you're gonna wanna check your capacitors. If the top of your capacitor is bulging upwards, that means that capacitor is blown and you have to replace it. So do the same for all of the other capacitors. Then, you gotta take a look at your MOSFETs, which are this and this. Most of the time, you can identify a spoiled MOSFET pretty easily. With all that out of the way, here are all the parts that you need for this project. First, we have a 10 ohm dummy load, some banana plug connectors, some lugs, a switch, two LEDs with the color of your choice, and two 1K ohm resistors. There are a few wires which has unique colors, such as this brown wire. This is the 3.3V SANS wire. It has to be grouped together with the 3.3V rails for it to work properly. This is the standby. So basically, when the main switch is on, all of these rails are not powered on yet. But this standby will be on. This is the power supply on line. So when this line is grounded, then all of these will have power. This grey wire is the power good wire, so when all of the rails are powered up properly, then this wire will indicate that the power is on. This blue wire over here is a negative 12 volts. I'm not sure where I'm going to use negative 12 volts yet, but I'm just going to give it a port as well. I have crimped the wires together and also put a heat shrink tubing over it. So this is the 12 volt rail, and then these are the ground. As you can see, I separate them into two groups because my lux couldn't fit all of the wires in and this is the 5 volts and this is the 3.3 volts. So I left out 4 of the ground wires, 2 of them will be used for the LED, 1 of them will be used for the switch and the other one will be used for the dummy load. And I also left out one 5 volt wire, this is for the dummy load as well. Right now it is time for some soldering and I'll put a connection diagram up on the screen.
the connections are basically done. Right now, what we need is a cover for the power supply. So I know some people like to drill holes here to mount their terminals and also the switches and LEDs. However, I'm not gonna mess with that. Instead, I'm gonna 3D print the cover for it. So let's go. So here's the final design that I came up with. After 12 hours, here's the result. Finally, I mounted everything onto the board that I printed and the project is done. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon with more projects. Stay safe!